Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing well and that you're all having a great day. As always, a free way to support the channel is by leaving a thumbs up, by leaving a comment, or by subscribing if you have not already done so. Um, I, 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 I made an Instagram because people kept on asking me if I had an Instagram. So I made an Instagram and the Instagram is on the screen. It's just called Modern Investor, as one would assume it would be called. Um, I noticed there were a lot of other fakes and copycats and, and the, 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 the whole arbitrage thing. I, I must have shown you this like a day or two ago. Uh, there are other Telegram pages that are also not me, but I can't stop all the copies. I can only tell you that there is a real one. So if you have Instagram and want to Instagram me or talk money, I don't know exactly what people do on Instagram. Uh, here it is. It's on the screen. I'll be posting periodically, I guess, in some sort of way. Um, if you haven't been paying attention to the channel, I do love memes. I do love jokes. So I'll be bringing basically tons of cryptocurrency news and a whole bunch of other stuff like that. Um, and on top of that, everyone else should also know, I believe at this point, that I do have a, a Twitter this is me. It is at Modern Invest. I tell you these things because I keep getting mails and letters and well, not actual letters, but people keep messaging me or telling me on different comment sections. Hey, I, I messaged you and you were asking me for 50 bucks. Nope, that's not me. I will never, ever, ever, ever. I don't know why I'm dancing. I will never, ever do that. I will never, ever ask you for money. I will never, especially not for information. All the information you get is here for free. That's how the channel works. So if anybody ever contacts you, messages you saying that they are me and they would like money or require something in order to be able to give you some other type of information, they're lying. Give them a nice little um, F-bomb or something like that. Anyway, that's that stuff out of the way. And let's jump right into it. The cryptocurrency market is trying to recover from what happened a couple days ago. The cryptocurrency market looks absolutely insane right now. There's no clear direction. A lot of altcoins look as if they are trying to move upward in price. Bitcoin keeps doing like a crazy roller coaster and it's actually quite weird to see. It says Ethereum approaches major break 3000 is the key. This news is kind of mimicked across different other places in the cryptocurrency space right now where basically everyone's saying the prices have to move up and if they move up, they'll continue moving up. Yay, congratulations, fantastic. So um, yeah, I think Ethereum hit 4000 or something like that before. I think we're currently at 2800 or 2900 or something like that. I hope in like a week, give or take a couple of days, somewhere around that time frame that we will see prices just simply get back to where we uh, were before. And I'm going to and I'm going to share something with you in a couple of minutes that I hope actually blows your mind. Uh, I remember, for those of you who were here yesterday, I said there's so much stuff happening within the cryptocurrency space that we can't even begin to fathom is actually um, occurring around us. So that's going to be something quite fascinating as well. Someone pointed it out to me uh, yesterday in the comment section. Hello, but I already knew that it happened. I just didn't have any time to make a, a second video yesterday about said occurrence. It says Cardano price pace sets recovery for altcoins drawing closer to $2.40. Uh, when the price is collapsed, and that's the only word I can actually use, Cardano I think hit 95 cents or some other around that number. Uh, it went to back to a dollar, and then I think it went to a dollar and ninety-two cents yesterday, which was also kind of it was a very rapid, very quick recovery. Everybody was like, "Woo, Cardano's making money!" So, um, I guess this is the next uh, level that we have to get is is two dollars and forty cents. I'm still realistically, especially with all these upgrades and stuff that are coming this year, I'm still aiming for a ten dollar Cardano. Maybe I say eight. I think eight to ten dollars is a little bit more realistic, but I mean, also, you know, some coins do fifteen thousand percent increases over the course of a twelve-month period. So, who's to really say? Um, and on top of that, as well, it says Bitcoin amid uh, forty thousand dollars as major altcoins continue recovery. Sure, I mean, we'll we'll definitely see. We don't have much of a choice to see where prices are going to go. They're going to kind of do as they wish, but it's nice to see that the market is trying to recover. Uh, when we look at the charts in a little bit, you'll see that Bitcoin is being quite stubborn. And as other coins are really making their way back up, Bitcoin is doing those like very heavy drops once again, which is causing the market to be like a, once again, like a light red. And I guess also on the price news to kind of finish it off, if you will, it says Deutsche Bank refers to Bitcoin value as wishful thinking. <laughs> Global banks join anti-Bitcoin rant. 
See, years ago, this probably would have annoyed me or made me worried or been like, oh gosh, what do the banks know that I don't? Part of the problem is, is that every single bank, every single bank, not one, but like 50, all of them around the world, every single bank that has ever said anything negative about Bitcoin is into Bitcoin. Whether that be Bitcoin futures, Bitcoin ETFs that they're trying to launch, Bitcoin exchange traded notes or products that they're also into, or they're simply accumulating it themselves, or they're mining Bitcoin, or they're starting cryptocurrency trading desks. So any bank that says anything like this, especially if we've learned anything over the last, it's now been about seven years, which is a little insane. Since 2014, 2014, every single bank that has ever said anything negative about Bitcoin is now in Bitcoin. Buying Bitcoin, they love Bitcoin, they got Bitcoin, they've, they've sat on panels before saying that Bitcoin is the future. So I'm not really sure why someone at Deutsche Bank uh, said that Bitcoin is, is wishful thinking. Like, who are you trying to fool at this point? We all know that you're in this space. Maybe they're just trying to fool really old people. I'm not exactly sure, but this was also floating around and everyone was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they said that. Shut up. Like, it's it, they, these, the, 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 these banks know exactly what they're doing. It's the same practices they've been trying to do for hundreds of years, except now we have the internet. So, you know, information can spread quite quickly when they're trying to spread stupidity. Anyway, that's all the price news. There was barely, you would assume that there would be a lot more, especially a mid-recovery uh, but alas, that's basically all we had. And without further ado, let's move on. So here's the really good one. Now, hold on, wait. I have multiple tinfoil hats on, just to let you understand exactly uh, where all of this is going. There's, when we talk about the actual money to be made in this market, I think a lot of times, once again, I, I think there's a huge divide between... When people hear the word million and when they hear the word billion, we've had many times before where we hear that someone or even if it's micro strategy, that they're raising a billion dollars uh, to buy a Bitcoin. Everyone's like, ooh, a billion. But when we hear that someone's, you know, buying $50 million, they go, OK, well, you know, it sounds like a big number, but it's not really a lot. The, the numbers at play here and the actual future integrity of the U.S. dollar and the world economic system and the news that we've gotten before, this is why that whole banking thing, I'm like, just have several seats because it just doesn't make any sense. When we start hearing banks who are so obsessed with the fact that Bitcoin exists that they'll do anything that they can to make sure that they, you know, throw mud on top of it, but then at the same exact time, make sure to announce these crazy, fantabulous price predictions of Bitcoin going to half a million and then eventually in five years being 1.5 million. Like, the, the, these banks aren't wasting their time creating these things in these, in these uh, structures and all these other analytics forms that they're doing uh, simply because they think it sounds cool. If they have any indication that the prices are going to be this absolutely high, they are definitely in the market. I think a lot of times, even when we see price movements, I think a lot of these things are coordinated. Backing it up, these happen in every single market. It's not just our market. I've mentioned before that our market is heavily manipulated. And people go, oh, no, not crypto. And I'm like, it happens everywhere. It happens with real estate. You you may have seen many other times before. And I'll even give you a little uh, history lesson. Look at certain areas that have been uh, left out, dilapidated, torn apart, burnt down buildings over the course of a 10, 15 year period. You may be walking by these areas now and they're absolutely beautiful. Why was this one area neglected? It's because the land under it is extremely valuable and they made sure to know that if they neglect this area for long enough, people will move out of it. I'm not getting into the whole gentrification conversation, but this is how money works. It's always, 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 always about money. If you ever think that something is happening on this planet that is not about money, go back to part number one. It is always about money. We are in a situation right now where people are discussing that, once again, Bitcoin could potentially hit a million dollars in the next five years. If Bitcoin's a million dollars in five years... Where does that put it in 25 years? What num what kind of numbers are we talking about for future generations or future people right now who are accumulating the 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 coveted 1 million satoshis like we've gone over before to be part of the the 1% of the one and all that other stuff. So, when this news came out, I read through it and it seemed a little weird and I was like, "Wait. The crazy part is is that all of that stuff actually took place." Um an anonymous user apparently not only predicted the massive sell-off on the crypto market, but also claimed that it was organized um, by a China-related campaign aimed at a single stakeholder. 
half a day before the trading carnage actually began. So we've had things before on this channel. My tin, my tinfoil hat is still on. It is gleaming. It is shining if you cannot see it right now. <clears throat> where we've had other instances before where people have, I'll say predicted or kind of, you know, said things before they actually ended up happening. And then when they do happen, everyone's kind of like, oh my gosh. This goes back to what I was saying. And, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm sorry if I'm a bit intense right now. But this goes back to exactly what I was saying that I think people would do some crazy stuff just to make sure that they have acquired their position in this market. I I, I don't, um, what's the word, doubt any of it anymore at this point. It says, of course, the following should be taken with a, and I mean the largest grain of salt, almost the size of a mountain, and it's no longer a grain, so I guess a mountain of salt. The person said, and I quote, can't tell you guys what firm I work for, but it's massive, and it's working with the People's Republic of China. The purpose of today's press release alongside all the FUD, that is fear, uncertainty, and doubt postings, is to get Bitcoin as low as it can before 7 a.m. UTC. The user wrote on anonymous information board 4chan before 7 uh, p.m. GMT on the 18th of May. So here's... Here's the tweet right here from someone else. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this happened. Here's the actual um, blown up image right here. Not only did this person accurately say that there was going to be a massive drop in in prices. The, 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 the drop that we have even got some analysts. They were like, what the fudge is going on? Because prices, it, it, was, it was so dramatic in movement we've seen dramatic drops before bitcoin will drop you know by a, a strong five percent in, in in the course of an in, in half an hour or something like that but it's quickly bought back up by tons of other buy orders this was coordinated this was heavy this was like a really sharp you you saw the movement down that we had like I, every second that i looked at it the price kept on going lower and lower there was no actual buying support everything was kind of evaporated the part that really got me is because you can have a, tons of people talking about, hey, you know, Bryce is going to move down or they're going to move up. That's a kind of a, a running gag that we have here where you have analysts who say, you know, looking at the charts, guys, I mean, Bitcoin's price is either going to go up or it's going to go down. You know, one of the two. And it's like, well, that's the only place that it can actually go because that's how markets work. The really weird part was the China thing. If you were not here yesterday or I think even a smidge before that. We had news that China was reinstating their ban on Bitcoin, and that got touted in the news, which also makes me believe, tinfoil hat, tinfoil hat, tinfoil hat, that the news platforms are probably also working with this in some sort of way, because the news that we got by an easy internet search, it was quite easy, click, 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 you found it on the internet, it basically said that China was reiterating for their companies within their borders, hey, it's banned, continue the ban, don't touch it, and also don't use DeFi. On many of the other major news platforms, it was written as China bans Bitcoin. No one can touch Bitcoin. Bitcoin is out of the market for people in China. Panic sell, panic sell, panic sell, panic sell. And I was like, well, that's kind of weird because if I found the news, they should have been able to find the news, especially if they're, you know, journalist integrity and all that other kind of stuff. So, um, as it stands right now, uh, yeah, and at the very bottom, it says uh, they, it says that they were trying to liquidate, that, that, that is to say, push one entire person out of the market. I saw a lot of people discussing who they could have been trying to liquidate, and even more so, um, why, why is that one country going after this one holder? Um, of course, people believe that it is, I don't have to say their name, you know exactly who I'm going to say. The person who everyone else believes uh, has been the reason for the drop in the market the last five days. Maybe this person's influence is seen as, as way too much and therefore they were trying to get him out. I'm not really sure. It says, once liquidated, the plan is then to buy up all the reserves and essentially leave him bankrupted. It says, if you guys want to get rich, grab some coffee and watch for the big dip, which is crazy because this dip actually happened. Once it happens, things are going to get green really fast. We project $70,000, that's all. So, um, just thought I'd bring you that because this is this is actually something. that Like, this isn't nothing. Uh, they knew that the drop was going to happen. They say that it was because of the People's Republic of China, which I think is also... Uh, we used to have um, discussions 
maybe two years something ago. It's not it's not as prevalent as it once was, where basically um, we were discussing that China has a huge amount of the hash rate of, of Bitcoin's mining power. And this was often discussed as, um, well, that's, you know, that's horrible because what if at, at some point the government decides, hey, we don't want this anymore. I personally think the government knows exactly what's going on. I, I don't assume that they're going, Bitcoin? Well, let's, let's leave the machines on. They're fine. I, I think they know exactly the economic impact that this is going to have, uh, that this is having. And they are making sure that all that uh, uh, hash rate stays within their borders. It's kind of the same exact significance. You know, they, they know what's happening and they know that they have control over it. So why not keep that control? Because that's how governments work. It's the same exact thing we were talking about before where, uh, what was it? I can't remember the name of the three countries uh, who announced that they were mining Bitcoin. And I was like, no one else, no one sees the significance of, of this country getting into mining. And everyone was like, oh, oh. I mean, it's okay. And then we had news that about seven countries were actually allegedly using uh, Bitcoin amongst themselves to actually do trade. And I was like, hey, significance significant so something i mean this is huge you 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 don't really understand when i try to explain to you what's happening that this is something that is really actually planetarily changing when i rant and rave why are people getting into doge or shiba inu or the you know uh hot butter co coin whatever is is actually out there and people scream at me and they go, man, you don't know what you're talking about, M money, money. And I'm like, no, you don't really understand the gravity of what's taking place. Who, he who controls the U.S. dollar controls the world. It's looking like he who holds Bitcoin is going to control the world. And this is why we see this major Russian flurry. Anyway, so my tinfoil hat is still on. I'm, oh, ooh, hey, wh where was I? You know, um, this is huge. This person called it completely, accurately, <laughs> and even all the other stuff that we're still getting like, oh, we're a bank, we don't like Bitcoin, <laughs> when we know that they all love it. We've gone over this for years. Anyway, just thought I'd share that with you, just so you really understand uh, what's taking place. So, yeah, let's move on. Next up, in, um, sure, why not? I'll tell you about it, and then I'll give you my, my thoughts on it. In the latest of a series of moves to regulate the cryptocurrency space, the U.S. Treasury has now mandated that crypto transfers worth $10,000 and above must be reported to the ERS. Sorry, that is the IRS. The move is a mirror of the fiat currency transfer rule mandated by the U.S., of all transfers above the same limit, the IRS sees the measure as necessary uh -huh, to closely monitor the trade, the transfer of assets in the market, especially with large corporations who may be seeking to use cryptocurrencies as a conduit to escape tax um, commission. So for those of you who don't know, if you've never flown on a plane before, not as a joke, if you've never really traveled in the air, every time you get to an airport, there's always a thing on the wall in every single language that basically says, hey, are you carrying more than $10,000 worth of this currency? If you are, you have to report it to us. If you don't, it is seen as money laundering and therefore you're doing something illegal. The entire idea is the countries want to always have control of money. I print it. I control it. You have to tell me if it's leaving the country so that we can actually see and kind of monitor and make sure that not a lot of it actually ends up going out. This is why it takes days on the old systems. If you're trying to buy a house, if you're trying to transfer money somewhere, it takes days because they want to go through every single little tiny thing. It's also an old system. And basically make sure that you're trying not to evade something or whatever the actual case might be. It always has to do with control and it always has to do with money. There was an issue a couple of years ago in China, where uh, which is also a another is a lot. Um, basically, um, years ago, people were trying to get their money out of the country because the, the the market was seemingly too hot. Their real estate prices were rising like 800% per year. Everyone was making tons of tons of money. It looked like a bubble. So a lot of people were moving their money out of the country and were moving it to Canada, which I'm sure pretty sure you heard about the the real estate market there began to really go a lot higher, it was moving to Europe, it was moving to many other places. Mainly it was like London and Vancouver. These were kind of the two hot spots where all this money was kind of going. 
The Chinese government realized really fast that all these people were pulling their money out of the market, out of their country, and into other markets. And they mandated basically, hey, you can't do that anymore. You can only move this X amount of money per year. People said, cool, that sounds fine. And the people started buying artwork. And then they started buying diamonds and all these other things to be able to, you know, buy a diamond, put it into a box, get into your private jet, fly to London, go to London, sell the diamond. I would like this entire row of houses kind of thing. Um, so this is, it's not new by any means. However, it's kind of the idea behind it. Um, the issue with this is going to be no one's going to do this. And I don't mean this in a revolutionary, once again, you know, fist in the air kind of thing. It is just absolute logic to me. Uh, as they do not control it, as they do not own it, and they are not making it, there's no, they're very no, I, I don't think anyone's going to actually do this. Um, side note, wherever you are in the world, please make sure that you yourself are actually always complying uh, with the local laws and regulations. <clears throat> However, no. Um, the Especially as Bitcoin slowly continuously moves to a way where it's going to have private transactions and the transaction uh, is they're actually going to be completely obfuscated and or hidden uh, from actual usage and who's doing it and where is it uh, where it's actually coming from uh, I don't think anyone's going to actually do this in any way this is why I think we've seen such a huge push by governments around the world <clears throat> to make sure that cryptocurrency exchanges are regulated first of all allow them and regulate them. So we know that they're there. We make sure to push people in the country to this one place. Hey, we say, hey, that's the safe one. That's the one you got to be using. So when you do sign up, we have your name, we have your address, we have your passport photo, we have all these other things so that we can know that you are in the cryptocurrency space. But uh, decentralized exchanges are very popular. They're only going to become more popular. And a huge, I don't know the exact number, I would assume it's over 80% of all transactions in crypto are taking place just on the actual chain. They're not taking place on cryptocurrency exchanges. So uh, I saw this. Um, I assume this was also, there's a lot coming from, especially the US right now, uh, talking about people need to uh, report this and make sure you're telling us if you have NFTs and report how much crypto you're buying and all these other really weird uh, things to try and get control over the space, but they don't control the blockchain. So people are going to be transacting $35,000 back and forth between them and their friends. And th who, who will be the wiser, if you kind of want to say it that way. So, uh, yeah, as always, make sure that you follow the rules wherever you are. But this is not going to be a thing. No one's going to be, uh, no. I, 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 I find regulations to be quite fascinating uh, simply because regulations in general, I find as a very, you know, it depends on the kind of day and the kind of thing, but within the cryptocurrency space, it's kind of like just mimicking the old rules and kind of throwing it on top of the new one, but it doesn't, it doesn't work and it's not going to work. So I, I, I think the next couple of years are going to be quite fascinating as the cryptocurrency space continues to evolve. Anyway, just thought I'd bring you that news because this is def this is definitely not going to be a thing. People are not going to be paying attention to this at all. So yeah, but, uh, yeah, uh, no, no, no. Think about it. It's just not going to happen. People have been doing this already before. There's not okay. Anyway, I'm 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 going to move on. I I find I find this entire space so. I'll use the word fascinating again. Because it's it's the same old it, it's it, it's kind of like we we had news before that I mean there were many countries who told their citizens hey if you if you're using crypto you gotta tell us and then we saw such a huge uptick in uh, the amount of people who were using uh, local Bitcoin it's basically an app where basically you kind of hey I have five thousand dollars I want to buy crypto and you meet up with someone in, uh, hopefully in a safe space or like a cafe or something like that or a restaurant. And you tap your phones together, you hand over the money, and they give you the crypto. And it's like, there was something in, was it Russia or Norway? I don't remember where it was, where somebody was trying to do it for like $15,000. And then like the cops, you know, swooped in and they were like, hey, that's illegal. You can't do that. And it's like, the, the when people find out that they can't do X, they move to Y. So I'm pretty sure the amount of people who've started to simply just do other digital transfers. Anyway, I'd, I think we're, 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 we're in for a very... Very interesting future, if I can kind of say it in that way. Anyway, I thought that was 
I thought that was news. Um, this is just a bit of, you know, keep track of your money, kids. Um, Pancake Bunny, uh huh, that's the real name. Pancake Bunny, a decentralized finance protocol from Binance or the House of Binance, if you will, has suffered an attack. The platform has been exploited in an attack related to it, its flash loan, and initial estimates. Estimates pegged the total loss uh, to be around a billion dollars. So basically, somebody exploited something in the protocol. All the money that was in Bunny uh, is gone, and the price completely collapsed, and people lost their money, and all the other stuff around there. So just, you know, if it sounds stupid, I I, I know, believe me, I I understand. I also want to make money. We're in the space right now where anybody can make something. And they're like, hot tea, bunny, pancake, face, coin. And everyone's like, ooh, that sounds great. And then they run into it, and then they lose all their money, and then you have no one to really complain to because you're in a terrible coin. So I I give you these things as a just pay attention because I know not many other people will. Anyway, that's the pancake bunny news. Neither one of those words did you expect me to say today, especially not bunny. But it's 2021 in the cryptocurrency space, so here we are. Um, right, let's move on. Next up in, sure, why not? I, I guess it's something. According to the number of searches this month, Dogecoin is the most searched financial term on Google in India. This is ahead of SenseX. Don't know what that is. Nifty, Bitcoin, or Mutual. F- ah, okay, these are other search terms. Uh, Nifty Bitcoin or Mutual Fund reported the country's leading financial daily, the Economic Times. Um, cool. So people are searching for Dogecoin. I, I I I would love to have a talk with everyone if I if I had the time and the means of it to really understand why people in, invest in these coins. You know that. You know that. You know that. Bitcoin is major. Bitcoin. It looks like it's poised to be the number one currency on the planet. What is the allure of, of Dogecoin? Like explicitly. If you can tell me, I would love that. And I don't mean that as a joke. I, I, I'm curious about these things. It's kind of like years ago when um, I remember when Bitcoin was moving up in price and everyone was like, oh, yeah, but Bitcoin's really slow. And I was like, so what's the alternative? Use Litecoin. Oh, that's cool. Well, you know, what about Litecoin? And they go, well, Litecoin's undervalued. Can you tell me why Litecoin's undervalued? It's 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 the silver to Bitcoin's gold. Oh, that's cool. And then people kept on telling me, you know, gold is going to be one-fourth the price. Silver's going to be one-fourth the price of gold. And therefore, Litecoin should be one-fourth the price of Bitcoin. And I was like, that's not how it works. It's it's about adoption and people who are actually using it. And actual, I guess, scarcity, if you want to use that word here. But do you is it is it that you think Dogecoin could become the number one coin? Like tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. And I don't mean to like like really have this conversation with me. Do you think Dogecoin could be the number one coin? Do you think it could be coin number two? Do you think the future prospects for Dogecoin are going to make it better than Bitcoin? Like, do you see worldwide Dogecoin adoption so big? That each Doge becomes a hundred dollars. What is it like? What what's the what's the ticking mechanism, if you will? Here's the actual news story from the Economic Times. Uh, Dogecoin's popularity soars ahead of Nifty 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 mutual funds in India. This also ties very loosely into it as well. Um, Google searches for cryptocurrencies hit a new all-time high over the last couple of days. I can only imagine why. Uh, one of the most searched things. Where was it? Um, one of the most common searches is what happened to cryptocurrency today? And it says in another twist, should I sell my crypto searches in the United States alone skyrocketed by 400% in the past day? Um, always do your own research. Understand people are really just here for like for the hype and the quick money and they really have no idea what's actually taking place. There are going to be so many people, and I, I'm sure a lot did, sell off. If you, Did you look at the prices where they like actually went? We were at, I think, 42,000, then we hit 40, then we hit 37, then we hit 32, and then we plunged like, heavy, like very quickly down to 29,000. 
And a, an hour or so later, we were back above, I think, was it 37,000? Like we had popped already back up and now, you know, we're near 40,000 once again. There's so many people who sold out of panic and they will never, ever be able to have as much Bitcoin as they had before. Like that, they, they will never be able to re-enter at, at X price ever again. So a lot of people, I, I also think it's quite fascinating that people would even Google should I sell my crypto today? That's like, like imagine, imagine it hailing really hard. Like, I mean, it's hailing for like an hour and a half. Like one of your windows gets broken and then you go to Google and write, should I sell my house today? It's, it's kind of the same exact thing. Like you, you, you don't understand that the, you know, the integrity of your house is still there and your house would still be valuable and people would still want it. And the, the, the hail storm will pass. But anyway, I, you know, who like, what 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 answer would you get from Google? What was was Google updating that day saying, oh, oh 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 gosh the prices are falling. Let me Google write the answer yes when people search for this. You understand what I'm saying? Like this there's, there's so many weird things that happen on, on this planet. Like I I just what what answer were you expecting to find Mr. Google sitting on a chair like the Matrix and being like, "Yes, my child, sell your coins." I also get people um, asking me like where prices are going. I don't know. Nobody knows. This is this is why the crap that happened two days ago happened. We were well, <laughs> first of all. Have you ever heard the term like a uh, throwing a wrench or throwing a uh, putting a wrench into the machine? There's something about a wrench. There's a wrench, long piece of metal going in, into some sort of machine that's messing the entire thing up. We were well poised, and I mean like poised to hit seventy thousand dollars and above. But there's a wrench called Musk who was just flailing around for about five days and our prices dropped. And then lo and behold, China and that and that person on 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 that website, they wanted to get rid of somebody, so they lowered the prices even lower. And now they're talking about it going back up to seventy thousand. We we're in a weird market. It's also a weird planet, a weird world, so you can't really do too much. Anyway. That's the um, searches for stuff are going up. We usually get news like normally the news happens to be um, if searches are high for Bitcoin, it usually uh, pre-tells whatever uh, that Bitcoin's price is about to go up. If tons of people are searching for, hey, should I buy Bitcoin? Should I buy Bitcoin? A fraction of them are going to buy Bitcoin and therefore the price ends up moving. But this is, you know, panic stuff and also people in India searching for Dogecoin. I would love to know why. I would love to. Is it that people don't understand Satoshis? I know that there's crypto vanity where people would rather have 5,000 Doge than, you know, 0 0.00143285 uh, Bitcoin, but. All right. That's the Google search news. And let's move on. Next up. Here's a really interesting one. Uh, wow. A Canadian publicly traded company called iMining will now include Cardano in the list of supported assets for its staking services, it said in a press release. Um, so yeah, there's a brand new company. I, I actually thought this was kind of fascinatingly interesting because you can also stake by yourself. But I, I, I think we're at the the advent of the beginning of uh, banks and institutions offering these things as a service as many people don't feel comfortable for whatever reason doing it themselves. I do explicitly believe this is going to be the new passive income. I think unequivocally, uh, we are entering into a way world time where uh, the way that people are going to make money, because I, I assume automation is going to really kick into high gear as the years continue on, um, and that people are going to be making their money exclusively from <clears throat> doing nothing. Uh, knowing that you have your money in a protocol and every single day you look at your wallet and you get more money inside of it, which I think is going to completely reshape the world. It's, it's kind of like a if you're in it early, you get to accumulate the most. Like th th there's a huge difference between you buying into Cardano at a dollar and forty cents as opposed to twenty eight dollars in you know ten fifteen years. Anyway, that's the Cardano news. Here's the actual um, press release, if you will, from News File. I thought this was kind of, like I said, it's very interesting. Um, I, I think Cardano is becoming more popular as the, you know, as the price continues to rise and as we get to all these actual upgrades. And Cardano, for the most part, 
has uh, stuck by their word. It's taken a while. It took them a couple of years to get here. But um, the project's moving along, so I assume Cardano is probably solidi- has solidified itself as one of the top coins for the next couple of years, if not the next... I, I don't want to say decade. I'll say mini decade. All right, let's move on. And to finish things off... Futu Holdings, the fast-growing Chinese brokerage and Robinhood rival, plans to offer cryptocurrency trading to international clients later this year, according to Executive. Speaking on Futu's quarter one's earnings on Monday, Senior Vice President Robin said the Tencent-backed trading firm has been applying for digital currency-related licenses in the United States, Singapore, and Hong Kong. During the earnings call, the Nasdaq listed Futu. Why do they keep saying stuff like that over and over? I don't have to know that they're always backed by Tencent or that they're on Nasdaq. Just give me the information. Which had previously disclosed its crypto offerings. Didn't elaborate on what the new trading services would look like. and said the feature would be launched in the second half of this year. Uh, and they made sure to restate, hey, you know, we're doing this outside of the country. We can't do this within China because, you know... Logic. Um, so cool. There's another new app coming out there. I don't... And I'll be honest with you. Um, I think the word Futu may have to be changed for the US audience. Um, just because it sounds like so many other things. It also has the the the, the first two letters of it. Also, uh, you know... I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just me, but I don't think Futu is gonna really catch on as a name. What do you? Hey, can you send me some money? Can you PayPal me? No, nope. I got Futu. Ah, okay. We're no longer friends then. I, it it just doesn't really click for me. Anyway, so cool. This is another thing. I mean, everyone's building something, creating something, making something. It's gonna be everywhere. It's gonna be all over the place. I'm not desperately waiting, but I'm expecting the unleashing of uh, corporate coins relatively soon. <clears throat> I'm surprised we don't have more of these right now where companies are making their own coins and announcing that you can also stake them in some sort of way. So not only do you hold a portion of the company through the, the token, you know, have maybe, maybe, you know, voting rights or whatever the actual whatever, blah, 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 blah. But you also get it, you know, like your dividend comes in the form of staking. I'm really surprised that that's not a thing yet. Or rather, I'm sure somebody's working on it. And I'm, and I'm still convinced that Elon Musk is going to try and make a Tesla coin. That's what this whole thing was about, at least to me. I don't think he has any I think he has interest in Bitcoin and maybe even in Dogecoin, but I'm 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 sensing a, a Tesla coin. Um anyway. That's all the news. Um there's a lot more. I may try and make a, a second video, but um I do have a lot to take care of today, but at some point I will maybe be potentially be back in the house, so I'll have time to do something. Um, as always, a very special thank you to my Patreon supporters, Professor Wally from Gunbite University, Red Plump Tomato, Umnu, Wish Nikki, the letter M, Stefan Dirks, Not Brain, Captain Something in the Z-Way, Lay Crypto, Black Sheep, AJ Cut, 5, Speedy 6, 5, 5, and Carlos was like, Mobarazzi, Jojo, Shasho, VB Nerd, 21, Miguel Grolet, Lauren De Silva, Quarter Bitty, Bare Bones, Mining Troy, all good. <clears throat> Space Case. Need a miracle. Pat Ternoster, Conan, No Skip, Leg Day, Snacky Chan, Tolik, Banano, Suspicious, Agile, and Blockchain, Navarro, Williams, David James, Until the Han, Yasha, Harari, Utopia, Fancy's Nine, Moon Man, High, XRP, Martin Stoyo, Nostromo, John Sarsen, The Anamarita, Bibliophobia, Todd Mullis, Adam Grayson, Maroni, Master Ventures in Thailand, Jarrah, Sander, Wise, Nine, All Two for Truth, The Royal Bank, One Number, Crypto Artist, D, Crypto Artist, Cold Duty, D, that was. Damien Set Sooner, Rich Richard III, Vladimir Paylor, Paxis, Nick Mann, Jelavori, Jim Gardner, Jamie Fox, Minting Coins, Miller, Hitch, Jesse, Reed, and Kowski, Black Day, Yes to Crypto, Buddy, Buddy, Face, Indian Seven, Is Marshall, Staff, Bake Me a Cake, Tigger, Ramon, Chinese, All Crypto with Lana, Krilla, Michelle, you are Ellen Below, Robustos. Thank you all very, very much for your support. Thank you to all the new Patreon members. Thank you to everyone who is a follower of my Instagram. I, I, I don't know if people say that. Thank you to everyone who's a follower of my Twitter. I don't also think that's a thing, but thank you if you are. Thank you to all the likes, comments, thumbs ups, um, subscribes, and all that other kooky stuff that people do now because we're living in the social media time. At the moment, Bitcoin is at $39,706. You see these movements. This is what I was talking about. It looks absolutely insane. We keep moving up and everyone's like, yay, no. And it kind of continues on that pattern. Every other coin is following the exact roughly same pattern. The biggest coin that's up right now in the top 10 is Doggy Coin. It is up by 5.7 percentile points. It looked like it was going to follow the same exact uh, movement that Bitcoin was, but it was like, nope, I think I'm cool. I hope 
So that price has continued to move higher. It would be absolutely nice if it does take place. Binance Coin is up by 3.5 percentile points as well. Solana is up by 2%. Ethereum Classic is up by 4%. Tron is up by 3.9. OKB is up by 9.5. Monero is up by 22%. NEO is up by 4% as well. Anything else crazy? Shiba Inu is down by 10 because it's Shiba Inu coin. Um, Safe Moon coin <laughs> is up by 18%. Um, not going to comment on that. Da -da 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 Pancakes are up by 6%. Algorand is for some reason up by 7%. Celsius is up by 5 BitTorrent token is up by 7 Compound is up by 3 and Leo Eunice said Leo is up by 3% as well. What a weird market that we're in. I do hope you all enjoyed. I do hope that you all are having a great day, a great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be. I do hope that it is absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching and or listening. And I will most certainly uh, be talking uh, to you all soon. See?